I'm Anil Kumar and I'm sharing with you assignment questions of my student Maria and I hope these solutions help you also. Now the question here is on composition of functions. We are given g of x equals to x over 2 minus x, k of x equals to log of x minus 1. We need to find g of k and state its domain. So let's do step by step. First let us find g of k, right? So we could also write this as g of k of x. So that is the first function we'll find and then later we'll find what is the domain of this function. We could actually find domain even without finding the composite function. I'll tell you how to do that also. Okay, so g of k of x really means that we want to do g of and what is k of x? k of x is log x minus 1. So that, so we could write g of k of x as this. Now g of x is x divided by 2 minus x we'll replace the x with log x minus 1. So what we get here is log x minus 1 divided by 2 minus and here we'll write log x minus 1. So that is the function, the composition of function g of k of x. Correct? So that is your function. Now, how to state domain of the function? So the domain is that the denominator cannot be zero. Second, we have two parts to this. One is that the denominator cannot be equal to zero. That means two minus log of x minus one is not equal to zero. That is the first part. And one more part is that log of x minus one should be valid, right? So that means x minus one should be greater than zero. And that gives us a restriction that x is greater than zero. Let us check this part x could be greater than 0, but then 2 minus log of x minus 1 cannot be 0, right? So let's have, this is an additional restriction. So let's solve. So what we get here is log of x minus 1 is not equal to 2. That means, this is to the base 10, so I can write x minus 1 is not equal to 10 to the power of 2, which is 100, right? So from here I can write x is not equal to 100 plus 1, which is 101. With all this, now you can write the domain of the function. So we say domain of g of k of x is equal to x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than 0 and this value is 0, greater than 0, but it should not be equals to 101. That is how you get restriction. Now let me explain you how can you get restriction of this function even without finding the function itself. So we are looking for g of k of x, right? So first step is find, so the superset, so the restrictions are, now in this case, restrictions are subset of k of x that is first thing right now what is k of x k of x is x greater than 0 correct this is k of x restriction now what else it cannot have what else it cannot have the range of k of x cannot be restriction of g of x do you see that now g of x is not defined for now remember we we see that g of x let me write here g of x is not defined for x equals to 2. Therefore, range of k of x should not be equal to 2. Do you get it? And that is why we found the answer for log of x minus 1 should not be equal to 2. And that gave us that x should not be equal to 101, right? So combining these two things, we get the domain, do you see? So x is greater than 0, but x is not equal to 101. So that combination gives us the domain without calculating the result. I hope this video clearly shows you how we should be doing composition of functions, finding their restrictions. And we could also find restriction even without calculating the composition of the function. That's the beauty of this. I hope you understand and appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot.
Thank you and all the best.